This week on Blip on Blip, we talk to Keith Hernandez, yep, that Keith Hernandez, and we look at a show about notebooks, digital notebooks at that. Hey guys, I'm Annie and you're watching Blip on Blip. Kelly and I created this show to give you an inside look at what goes on behind the scenes right here at blip.tv. So some of the blippers are getting ready to head down to Austin for South by Southwest. Are you going to be there? Let us know in the comments below. Anyway, on today's show, we talked to Keith Hernandez, who has a name similar to a certain baseball player, but don't worry, he's one of our great sales guys. I'm sitting here with Keith Hernandez, one of our awesome sales persons. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. No problem. We're delighted to have you. Yeah. Okay. I'm really excited for this. Because I've heard you are a very, very funny guy. I wouldn't say funny. I'd say humorous. humorous? Um, I think okay. there's a difference between being funny and, and humorous. Funny people tell jokes. Humorous people make snide comments. On that note, um, when you first started here, a lot of people had a lot of jokes to make about your name. <laughs> yes. Do you want to explain a little bit about that? Sure. Um, Keith Hernandez was one of the slickest fielding first basemen in the history of baseball. He played for the New York Mets from 1980 something to mm -hmm. 1989. He was really known for his prominent mustache and his sexual <laughs> bravado, um, <laughs> something that in New York City got me a lot of attention. All right, so back to normal interview stuff. Um, why don't you s tell us what you do for Blip? Sure, um, what I do here is I'm a sales rep, uh, so I work on the East Coast, and mm -hmm. there's uh, three of us, so we divided the territory up. I call on a bunch of the different agencies working with uh, different advertising partners to put together um, <laughs> great projects and campaigns that we'll be running on Blip TV. So about your awesome TV skills, do you think any of that applies when you're making like sales presentations or working with Blip? How, do, yeah. how does that translate to Blip? Yeah, I think, I mean, that was one of the major things that find, got me interested in Blip in the first place is mm -hmm. I just absolutely consume television programs like crazy. It's mm -hmm. one of my passions being out there and watching TV, so found Blip and it just seems so exciting and so fun. Yeah. So when I go out and talk um, with the advertisers and with the clients, I'm mm -hmm. really passionate about the space mm -hmm. and they can see that and uh, I really care about what's going on in it and, yeah. and know things. And I also get to drop random Airwolf references in meetings, which is a <laughs> lot of fun when you see somebody's eyes light up and they go, I love that show. <laughs> and that was my favorite show. I used to stay up with my brother and watch that. So what is your favorite thing about working for Blip? Um, just one. Just one? Okay. Probably, <laughs> probably just an outcome. I think, <laughs> I think uh, anything that guy does, I celebrate. And I really want to follow him around the office one day and just only, only hear Justin Alcon-isms and, and really figure out what's going on inside that brain. Thank you so much, Keith, Thank for you. your time. That was awesome. We've got a bunch of great shows here at Blib.tv, and each week we like to feature one that the whole office can't stop watching. This week, I want to talk about Notebooks.com. If you're in the market for a new laptop or tablet, look no further than Notebooks.com. They've got a crack team of reporters that give you the ins and outs of all the latest mobile computing devices. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, you should head on over to Notebooks.com. That's it for this week on Blip on Blip. You can catch us next week and every Tuesday after that at the blog at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you next week.